Hi, my name is Ryan Lane, and welcome to my review channel. And so for today's movie, I will be reviewing the Spider-Man No Way Home, the more fun stuff version. Anyway, this film is comprised of about 15 minutes of uh, extended scenes plus new footage that wasn't included in the original film. And so let's start off right out of the way. This film is not that different from the original. It's this is no Snyder Cut, if you will. There isn't, like, an additional film's worth of footage stacked on top of the of the original cut, if you will. Anyway, so with all that in mind, I still think this is a pretty uh, decent cut worth checking out. As, you know, as the title would suggest, this film has more fun stuff in it. It's got funny one-liners, and it also uh, helps shade in some more character depth to a lot of the characters. Like, for example, Flash, uh, he, uh, again, from the original, he's wrote a book, Flashpoint, about his supposed friendship, if you will, about with uh, Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man. And during a little uh, school interview he does, it's revealed that one, he looks in the book and is surprised to see it has pictures in it, which... Which reveals he didn't even write the book. It was probably just a ghostwriter, which I found pretty funny and some nice character detailing for Flash, for the Flash character. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Uh, also, uh, Aunt May's character also gets some nice uh, character depth as well, thanks to the additional footage. It's revealed that she has an arrest record from her activist days, which, again, I like it. Plus, it also helps kind of explain why she's cool with Peter Parker being Spider-Man. Again, I really like that. Um, but the film also kind of uh, has introduced some pacing issues to the movie as well. In a film that already kind of had some pacing issues that I alluded to back in the original, in my original review of the movie. Like, for again, during the aforementioned uh, interview scene where uh, the uh, school news reporter is interviewing a bunch of Peter Parker's uh, students and teachers... It goes on for a bit too long. Like, it was fun at first, but then it just kept going and going, and I was like, okay, all right, let's 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 move along, shall we? Pick up the pace. So, which, again, I feel like was a complaint I had with the original. So, yeah, that's kind of there. For the most part, the additional footage doesn't drag down the movie's plot pacing, thankfully, or, well, any more than the pacing is dragged already like again i didn't mention this uh earlier but like for example the uh, whole scene where the three peters are talking about their whole problems whether it be web fluid or back problems i felt like that scene went on a bit too long and was a bit awkwardly placed it's like okay we're at the climax of the movie let's uh move it along here so i guess on that note the whole the awkward uh, length of the interview scene fits in well enough with the movie as it is. Also, the film tries to add a different uh, plot point or t to the movie. Like, in the original cut, it was alluded to that Happy Hogan was being investigated uh, for the London attack incident. But uh, the film doesn't really do much beyond to explore that. Like, it has maybe one additional scene where Happy Hogan is testifying before a uh, damage control committee, which, I mean, it doesn't amount to much beyond additional screen time for Matt Murdock, for the Matt Murdock character, and a funny one-liner by Happy Hogan. A, a funny one-liner at that, but not much beyond that. So with all that in mind, despite uh, not offering a radically different take on the Spider-Man movie, No Way Home movie, it, it is nevertheless, you know, as the title would suggest, it has more fun stuff in it, and it adds some uh, more character detail to the various secondary characters. So with all that in mind, I will be giving uh, Spider-Man No Way Home the more fun stuff version, 4 out of 5 stars. Again. So anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. If you like this review and would like to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. So for today's comments section prompt of the day, did have you seen the no the more fun stuff version of the movie? And did you like it? Why or why not? 